<laughs> what was it that Ed Sullivan said? There's Wait. no faster way to die on stage than follow a kid or animal yeah. act. <laughs> well, I'm going to try. Just you're following both. Yeah, I'm following both, exactly. Well, good evening, folks. My name's Molotov. I'm going to... I'd like to entertain you tonight with a little sword swallowing. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're yeah. nice. I forgot what Tantus was like. You're nice here. Now, you know, whenever you tell people you're going to swallow swords, they immediately think, what? You're gay, right? Really? Now, listen, listen. I'm sure there's a lot of good gay sword swallowers out there. But I'm not one of them. I swallow swords to impress girls. <laughs> the gay ones do it as a training exercise. Oh, you're giving me nothing on that? Come on, I'm a sword swallower. Oh, I got it, Deacon Gay Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, all right, all right. I'm going to start out small. It's good to start out small, work your way up in life. I found that works good. I'm going to start out with my smallest blade that I've got here. My little nine-inch dagger. Now I know to some of you swallowing nine inches is not that big a deal, but I'm going to start off with nine inches just the same. I like to use the small dagger first because I think nine inches is like an average number that people can relate to when it comes to swallowing. Now I bet there's more than one guy out there right now thinking to himself, damn Molotov, nine inches, man, that's way above average. Well, girls, for me, nine inches is as small as I get. Come on, give me some nine inches. Come on. All right, here we go. Down the hatch, without a scratch. Follow the swords, I get a lot of questions. You know, people are like, where did you learn how to do that, Malika? How did you learn how to do that? And my favorite is, can you teach my girlfriend how to do that? And the answer is, yes, I can. In fact, tonight, right after I'm done uh, performing here, I'm going to be giving free sword swallowing lessons. <laughs> no, that's right. So, girls, if you'd like to learn to swallow swords, just meet me in the bathroom upstairs and I'll happily show you how to swallow. in San Antonio, Texas, let me tell you, let me tell you. It worked in San Antonio, here. Fuck you, Cal. All right, now you saw me swallow nine inches, you weren't that impressed, all right. Now, how many out there have ever tried swallowing 10 inches? Anybody, come on, you don't have to be shy. We're all friends here. What about, what about 12 inches? Anyone? Yeah, imagine what it's like taking 26 inches. Don't do it. I've got here my Mark of Zorro sword, and it measures 26 inches Good from the tip of the blade down here to the hilt of the handle. Now, what I'm going to do is easy. I think you all can learn how to do this. First, you just pop the blade past the gag reflex. Next, it'll travel behind the heart, pass between the lungs, go through the bronchial valve, further south still, till it goes to the stomach sphincter last, and it drops comfortably down there into the bottom of my appetite. Now let me tell you what I do is dangerous. Ah. Yeah, that's right. If I make a wrong turn, I can hit my prostate and ruin another good pair of pants. Ah. Oh, you like the poop jokes, but not the gay jokes. And that transfers all across the country. Now, whenever I swallow the sword, people are like, yeah, right, it's a fake sword. It just folds up in the handle. Well, that's not true. The blade is all real. And it's all steel. In fact, if anyone would like to, you can examine the sword for yourselves right now. Anyone care to do that? Now, come on. We're in San Francisco. Everybody wants to, you know, come on. Now, would you like, oh, thank you. Make sure it's not going to bolt bend or anything. Telescope into the handle or... You know, check the frame, track it. It's ribbed. Does that seem like a saw? Does that seem like a saw piece of steel to you? Does it? Oh, thank you very much. Blade has been verified. Now, before I swallow it, I should probably clean it off. <laughs> no offense. 
I don't know where your hands have been. I'll just get rid of the fingerprints on there in case I make a mistake. That way there'll be no evidence linking you to an accidental homicide here on stage. Oh, you like that one. See, it, it, it pays the box law and order. Or was it SVU or CSI? Can't keep track of Jay Bruckheimer. All right, now seriously, if I am going to push it down my throat, I'm going to sterilize it with something a little stronger. In the old days in the circus, they use rubbing alcohol to sterilize the sore, but I gotta tell you that stuff tastes terrible mm -hmm. and it's old fashioned. So <laughs> I'm gonna use something with a little bit more flavor here if you don't mind. I know it's a little bit stronger than rubbing alcohol, but believe me, it's gonna make for a more interesting act. Classy. <sighs> That's me, Cal, Mr. Class. <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe it down here, get rid of the dirt, the germs, the fingerprints, anything on there that might make me sick, because believe me, I'm not a masochist. I do try to respect my body. What did you have for dinner? <laughs> we'll soon find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I just want you to know, before I swallow this, that uh, I'm not just an alcoholic here. <laughs> I am also a multitasker. Salute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm putting myself at risk for your entertainment. If you like what I do, give me a big round of applause. I'm down a court. <laughs> much better. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Genevieve and this great party, everybody. One more time for Chaos Kitty and Thank you very much.